good morning children now we are entering into our first chemistry session hope you all will cooperate for this year we are having seven lessons now i am going to take you the first lesson matter around us the first lesson matter around us so please do keen watching the term matter is nothing but to cover all the substances and materials from which the universe is composed that is the term matter is nothing but what the all the things which is present in this universe okay matter is everything around us the things what we see around us is nothing but what matter for example the food we eat the pen we write the clouds the stones the plants animals even a drop of water or a grain of sand everything is said to be what matter okay so next matter is having two properties which means anything which have mass and which occupies a space is said to be matter okay so in your lower classes you have studied about the classification of matter based on their physical state it means the matter can be classified into three states based upon the physical nature one is solid another one is liquid and the final one is gas okay so here now we are going to further how matter is classified so we can classify matter on the basis of chemical composition in this lesson okay so how matter can be classified based upon the chemical composition it has been classified into two types one is pure substances and the another one is mixtures okay from the point of chemistry pure substances are those which contain only one kind of particle okay for example the pure gold metals of like metals like gold copper is said to be a pure substances pure substances not, are nothing but what those which contain only one kind of particles whereas the next one impure substances are those which contain more than one kind of particles okay clear next these pure substances are further classified into two types one is elements and the another one is compound okay among the category elements all the substances on the earth are made up of certain simple substances called elements all the substances are made up of some simple substances called these are said to be what elements for example plants rocks everything even our body contain elements thus all the elements also sorry thus the elements these elements are said to be the building blocks of all the materials okay next in another words these elements are the substance which cannot be broken down further into simpler substances it which cannot be broken down for example aluminium is an element which is made up of only aluminium atoms okay so it is not possible to obtain a simpler substance chemically from the aluminium atom it is not possible to further subdivide further, it is not possible to for, uh, subdivide aluminium uh, atoms again we can only make more substances from aluminium atom like aluminium oxide aluminium nitrate and aluminium sulfate okay these elements are again classified according to the properties what are they metals non metal and metalloids elements are further classified based upon the properties into three so that is metal non metal and metalloid next comes the second classification compounds when two or more elements combine chemically 
it forms a new substance called compound when two or more elements combine chemically means it forms a new substance called compound for example cane sugar is made from the three elements from carbon hydrogen and oxygen the chemical formula of cane sugar is c12 h22o11 a compound has a property which is totally different from those of the elements from which it is made out of okay so for example we saw cane sugar which has the formula c12 h22o11 it will be totally different from those of the metal from which it is made out of like carbon hydrogen and oxygen so this is the property of the compound which is totally different from those of the element from which it is made out of next example common salt we all know sodium chloride common salt is also known as sodium chloride it is a compound it is also used to give added to give taste to our food so it is also a compound made out of a metal sodium and a non metal chlorine so its property is totally different from those of sodium and that of chlorine okay so far we discussed about what is meant by matter and how matter is classified into two how matter is classified so matter is classified into two one is pure substance another one is impure substance among the pure substance again it is further classified into elements and compounds here comes the next classification of matter impure substance that is called mixtures so what is said to be a mixture a yeah, mixture is an impure substance which contains two or more kind of elements or compounds which are both physically mixed together in any ratio okay a mixture is nothing but two or more kind of elements or compounds that is physically mixed together in any ratio for example let us see some examples first example tap water is a mixture of water and some dissolved salts we all know tap water is a mixture of some dissolved salts with the water okay next example lemonade that is lemon juice it is a mixture of lemon juice sugar and water next air is also a mixture air is a mixture of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor and some other gases next soil soil is also a mixture soil is a mixture of clay sand and some other various salts next milk ice cream rock salt tea smoke water sea water blood paints are also some of the examples of what mixture next alloys alloys are mixtures of metals alloys means two metals which is mixed in a molten conditions to enhance the property of that metals alloys is nothing but what two metals mixed in a molten condition okay next the mixtures are further classified into two types one is homogeneous mixture and the another one is heterogeneous mixture first comes the homogeneous mixture it is a mixture in which the components cannot be seen separately is called a homogeneous mixture for example salt solution if if you take one teaspoon of salt and if you dissolve that salt in a tumbler of water it is an example of homogeneous mixture okay so it has a uniform composition and every part of the mixture has the same property for example it has a uniform composition if you taste the salt solution from the top or from the middle or from the bottom it will give the same taste so this is the 
homogeneous example for homogeneous mixture that is it is a mixture in which the components cannot be seen separately we cannot see the salt and water separately and it has a uniform composition it will dissolve thoroughly in the water and it has the same property through the solution it, totally the solution will be in salt taste okay next comes the heterogeneous mixture it is a mixture in which the components can be seen separately so it is a mixture in which the components can be seen separately for example a mixture of sugar and sand and a mixture of oil and water for example if you take oil and water if you mix it we can see the oil at the top of the water so this is the property of heterogeneous mixture it does not have a uniform composition it won't totally mix through throughout and the properties will also differ if you take water it has a separate property and if you take oil it has a separate property so this is the example for heterogeneous mixture it is a mixture in which the components can be seen separately and it does not have any uniform composition and also a definite property this is the example that is the so, uh, so mixture of oil and water or sand and a mixture of sand and sugar these are the uh, examples for heterogeneous mixtures okay so far we discussed about what is meant by matter matter is nothing but what anything which occupies some space and which have some mass is said to be matter and the matter is further classified into pure and impure substance called the mixtures among uh, below the category pure substance it is again further classified into elements and compounds impure substance are further classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures that is mixtures are classified into two types one is homogeneous mixture and the another one is heterogeneous mixture that's all students some question answers are given please learn it and one activity is given do it thank you